Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 14-8 that is taken from chapter number 14, Energy Methods, and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is determine the torsional strain energy in A36 steel shaft. The shaft has diameter of 40 mm. So, you can see this is the shaft. At this end, we have 300 Newton into meter torque. At this end, we have 200 Newton meter torque that is counterclockwise and here this is a 900 newton meter clockwise the length of this shaft is given as 1.5 meter so we have to find the torsional strain energy due to the applied torque so let's start with the solution so as we know that uh, uh, strain energy ui due to this torsional is equal to sum of t square into L divided by 2 times G into J where T is torque, L is length, G is modulus of rigidity and J is polar moment of inertia. So what we are going to do is that we will take this point A, this is point B and this is point C and this is point D. So we will find in torque in various section of this shaft A, B, B, A, B C and C, D. So let's start to find the for section a b for section a b so if you cut this at this point clear and draw the free body diagram so the beam will uh, sorry so the shaft will be like this clear here you can see that the torque applied here is counterclockwise in this direction which is 300 Newton into meter and this is the axis x axis so in order to balance it we should have counter uh, uh, clockwise torque this is clockwise torque uh, counterclockwise so in order to this counter we will be having a clockwise torque so it will be like this and this will be this is point a so we will have tab how we will find tab by applying this equation of equilibrium that sum of all moment about x axis must be equal to zero and moment, uh, torque is taken counterclockwise is positive so you can see this is clockwise torque it will be negative and this is counterclockwise torque it is positive their sum must be equal to zero so i will write minus t a b plus 300 is equal to zero so from here you will get torque in shaft a b is equal to 300 newton meter and that is clockwise now what we will do is that we will cut this beam in section a b b c so i will write for section for section b c here it was a b so when you cut it and draw the free body diagram of this shaft it will be like this you can say this is point a where you have a torque of 300 newton into meter clear this is your point b where again you have counterclockwise torque of 200 newton into meter and this is the axis x axis so in order to balance it we have a clockwise torque which will be equal to t b c so the length from this till this it is given as 0 0.5 meter and this is also from b to a is 0 0.5 meter so we'll find this torque by using sum of all moment about x axis must be equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise torque as positive so tbc which is clockwise so i will write minus tbc plus 200 plus 300 is equal to zero so what we will get is that tbc will be equal to 500 newton into meter and that tbc will be clockwise now we will uh, section it at point c uh, between d and c and if I draw the free body diagram, so it will be like this. This will be the shaft there. So you can see this is the axis. 
So at point A again we have 300 Newton meter that is counterclockwise. This is point B. So at point B we again have 200 Newton into meter and this is your point C. At C we have clockwise movement of 900 Newton meter. So in section C D the torque, the torque let the torque will be equal to T C D and that should that be taken as clockwise T C D is equal to we will find this T C D. So how you will find this? So you will take sum of all moment about x axis is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise torque is positive. So minus T C D which is taken as clockwise plus uh, 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 minus T C D which is clockwise again you can see this is clockwise this T C D is 900 is again this is also clockwise so I will write minus 900 plus 200 is counterclockwise plus 300 is also counterclockwise their sum must be equal to 0 so T C D will be equal to minus 400 so what does it mean it means that assume torque tcd which is taken as clockwise is wrong it should be counterclockwise so we will write tcd is equal to 400 newton into meter and it should be counterclockwise Torque. Now we have torque in each section, so we will use this equation. And this equation is given as strain energy due to torsion is equal to sum of T square into L divided by 2GJ. So we have different sections, so I will split it TAB square into LAB divided by 2GJ since the material is same. And diameter is same so tbc square plus uh, tbc square into length of bc lbc divided by 2gj plus tcd square into lcd divided by 2gj now g can be obtained from the material property we have been given as A36 steel. So we will go to the property table and you can see that struck A36 steel. So G will be equal to 75 giga Pascal. So we will note down it. So G is 75 giga Pascal. That is equal to 75 into 10 to the power 9 Pascal. And what is J? J is polar moment of inertia. And for radius, we have been given diameter. So radius C will be equal to D divided by 2, which is equal to 40 divided by 2. And that is 20 millimeter. And 20 millimeter is 0 0.02 meter. So J is pi by 2 C power 4. Since it is solid shaft, so you can put the value pi by 2, 0 0.02 power 4 clear and when you calculate it you will get j will be equal to 80 into 10 to the power minus 9 pi and unit will be meter power 4 now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula so strain energy due to torsion will be equal to first we will put tab so tab is 300 so if you take 1 over 2 g j common so this formula will become equal to TAB square into LAB plus TBC square into LBC plus TCD square into LCD. Now you can just put the value. So strain energy due to torsion will be equal to 1 over 2. G is 75 into 10 to the power 9 and J is 80 into 10 to the power minus 9 multiplied by pi. Clear? Okay, TAB is 300. So 300 square 
multiply by length of AB is 0 0.5. Same length of BC is 0 0.5 and CD is 0 0.5. So we can put the value 0 0.5 TBC is 500 Newton into meter. So 500 square into 0 0.5 plus TC is 400. So 400 square into 0 0.5. Okay. Now you have all the value if you simplify it and solve it using calculator. So you will get strain energy due to torsion will comes out to be 6.63 joules. So this is the amount of strain energy due to torsion that will be stored in this shaft. And that was all about this problem 14-8. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Also share my video with your friends and help me in growing my channel further. Thank you for watching.